This is the Vegan Anarchist, and this video is going to be about the virtues of laziness and the evils of work. Let's do this. You know, you know, I have worked before, and Went to the socialization and it was it would have been dreadful because in work you're forced to work for someone. But who but how if they're not playing again yet? Well because if you don't fucking work for someone and make them rake, you fucking starve. And that's the point. The point is laziness is a virtue. And let me start with the laziness. People, I hear people all over the place, from the left to the right to the center to the mock and bash on lazy people. Oh, lazy people are sucking up a welfare. Get a job, you lazy fuck. Or, you're lazy. But the truth is, is laziness is, has good qualities. Laziness breeds, breeds creativity and combine. They produce innovations in art and music. We, you, I suggest you all read the essay, The Right to Be Lazy. I don't remember who, I think it's a French guy. And by Bob Black, The Abolition of Work. Those two essays, I recommend if you like this video or even don't like it, what, read as in, in its entirety. The point is, is that laziness conserves energy, and that's one of the reasons. The point is, is that laziness is, is a virtue. In fact, it's a wonderful virtue. The ancient Greeks had nothing but contempt for nothing but, oh, they just had horrible things they had to say to work. And, and many things, and some of the things, even people like Socrates and Plato said, basically looked down upon people who worked, and people who, worked, who saw the labor as slaves. And actually, that's most of America work paycheck to paycheck. The point is, what is work? It is compulsorily labor that you have to do. And it usually is in the lower, lower echelon of the mile hierarchy. I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's basically, it, it, it basically like, oh, lower is basically uh, survival, then protection, and above, as you go up, it gets more into the well of self, self accusation, actualization, and self realization. But the point is, is that people are whipped to do work. And there's and contrary to what those Aurelian motherfucking what do you call motherfucking Aurelian sophists who preach work would not make you free and it became so pervasive it was at Auschwitz in the Holocaust. Contrary to those fucks Work is the opposite of freedom. Work is slavery. That is, work is, if anything, slavery. To be required to work for someone is slavery. No ends about it. And the truth is, yeah, and, and forced slavery because that's what it is. The liberals just want to make it safer. The conservatives want to repeal labor laws so they can kill more workers. But the, and the libertarians want people to be bossed by, by the fucking CEOs and the fucking business managers. And then the so-called communists want the workers to be bossed by bureaucrats and party officials. Even the most conservative of the fucking even not the conservative, even the most radical so-called philosophy, so-called radical of the philosophy of political ideologies, a lot of them still embrace workism. The holy construction of work. 
But I have but the point is is that work is slavery. And it's bad for your health. Americans work most of everybody in industrialized country and people tend to work over half about half the waking hours for decades on fucking work. Being bossed around, being made to do shit you don't want to do. It fucking sucks. I was there by and I fucking hated it. If it weren't for socialization I would have quit. It was bad. And many people have it worse. In fact, the whole, in fact, Genghis Khan, Nero of Rome, name your historical times hundreds of years ago, they would have been jealous out of mouth control, people put into, people put, I don't know how, they would be jealous out of the control that people get when you, they, when they work. They wish they had them. The point is, is that work is, is a way to control people. It is meant to control. And a whole system of domination, a society of control, work is there to dominate us, to make us submissive. Because most jobs, you see, aren't necessary. They're bullshit jobs, as David Grable would say. But they for, they serve two rules. They keep up the capitalist profit because it generates, because it allows the workplace, it allows the workers to buy their products. And also, it is one of the best mechanisms of control. The petty boss, the fucking worker who hates your ass. It's the point it is to control you. And if you look at a dictionary definition, lazy, it means not exerting yourself, not spending energy. But if you, but nowadays it basically means anything that the capitalist class can't benefit and doesn't find productive. So fucking sleeping around and smoking weed and enjoying your time while you're on earth is a fucking waste of time. Laziness was so condemned. That was considered, it, it was considered sloth, which was one of the seven deadly sins. The, the church purposely manipulated to people to, to find otherwise monotonous, boy ass fucking trash of jobs acceptable because they're doing the Lord's holy work, but really they're just making their wa bosses' walls fat with capital. I want, we should not demand full employment, we should demand full unemployment. We have a right to not work, we have a right to be lazy, we need to abolish work. Because God damn it, work does not set you free, work makes you a slave. Be ordered to fucking around, makes you do things, you, it is awful. Work needs to be transformed into play, into activities people enjoy, if not completely automated out of existence, because it is fucking terrible. It's been so many times, even by Adam Smith, but also by even some ancient Greeks and Romans, that people who do repetitive tasks are so, are them, do dull repetitive tasks are themselves dull, un, really boring, uninspiring, because Repetitive tax makes you stupid. Work stresses people out. It causes people to have fucking accidents. All sorts of problems, but you don't believe me? Just look at it. Just Google work fatality rates. Work sickness. Diseases you get from work. It's a fucking long list and a fucking large number. And the truth is, we criticize rightfully if people like Pol Pot kill his own people. But we're doing that fucking exact thing, especially in America with their obsession with work. We have fucking killing each other. And those who survive will get the luxury to buy goods on your credit card and be indentured servants for the rest of their fucking lives. It is tragic. 
and they're true, and it is awful, man. People are slaves, and they're willing to, and they tax other people for now willing to be slaves. The idler, the person who sleeps in the house all day, know that. A lot of stone slackers, or wherever you call them, idlers, or whatever, no, or me, like, no, don't know what they're going to do with their lives. And so they're trying to figure out, but they fucking know that they want to fucking enjoy a short time of this existence and the, and, and because you, you have a rest of eternity of death. And in a short time, you are a fucking slave. And you're born to be a slave. And you're born to die as a slave. That's what's tragic. In your workplaces, it is like Stalinism. What Stalin was to governments is what workplace is to workers. In many places, especially in the third world, it is a hellhole. Be micromanaged, ordered around, measured. Oh, do your work. It is awful. Because point is, laziness is a virtue because work fucking sucks. And that is what we need to realize. I encourage everybody to read these two essays, The Right to Be Lazy and The Revolution of Work, which is by Bob Black. This is a great fucking read. If you don't read me both, just read the one by Bob Black. And because of the slavery uh, people go through in their day to day lives, we, the way to a Appeal to the people who need revolution. It's not freedom, and we, and not only that, but not appeal, just appeal, but a goal is not freedom of work, but freedom from work, from being forced to do tasks. When, when, when they could use that to sleep or or make art or whatever. The point is, the owner times. And fucking let me just fucking see it. Uh, there are times, there are days I like, minutes, hours I was lazy. I fucking love it. I love being lazy. Many people fucking love leisure time. You fucking love it. And it can get pleasure. And you get almost no pain. It is hedonistically, intrinsically awesome. For God's sake, Work, for God's sake, fuck work. We need a fucking slack off. We need a fucking revolution by sl and one of the ways we slack off. Because nope, it's better to live on your feet than die on your knees. And if you have to slack off to be free, then you better slack off if you want to be free. This is the vegan anarchist. No me, no milk, no masters. Fuck work, workers of the world, you relax for once. Relax, workers, be free at last. In a truly communist society, people won't need to work. People will have freedom. See ya.